So let's go to the next functionalities in Caligo. So here I prepared a measurement plan. And the first thing I want to show you here is you can use a so-called polyline now. So you see these are individual points which I've created before. So you see this is just point one until point 18. Yeah, it's just going around this profile here. Okay. And now I want to create a section out of these points. Okay, in all the Caligo versions, this was not possible. In all the Caligo versions, you can only create a section and then measure a section. And now if you want, you can delete this old polyline to show it to you again, how you create it. Okay. You see you have point one until point 18. Okay, let's just evaluate them. If we have results in them. So now it's point one to 18. Just mark all the points you want for creating of the polyline, mark them, right mouse button, then click on construct. Then there is geometrical feature and in geometrical feature you find polyline now. Okay, mark polyline, click. And now you see you have an, let's create a cat file and evaluate the polyline. Now we have a section created out of these points. You see now he's created them. Here the section, if I go nearer, you see this is nominal and actual curve out of them. And you have the same functionalities as in section. So if you open the polyline and go in, for example, visualization, evaluation, polyline, here you can see you can, of course, error scale. For example, you want 10 times scaling now it's bigger of some customer don't want to see the tolerance for example here of course you can deactivate tolerance surface for example or deactivate tolerance line or here the same you can say you want to deactivate error band or error pikes and so on and so on now we can only see nominal and actual polyline out of these two okay and of course you can scale them but be careful it's a line, it's not a curve, it's just marking point to point. So wait, here you can see it easier. So as you see, this is point one, for example, this is point two, and he's connecting them with some line. So from point to point line, from point to point line, from point to point line creating. And of course for actual as well. So here's actual point to actual point, actual point to actual point. So it's not rounding these points over here. This is just a line and the next line, the next line, the next line, here you can see. Okay, and of course, you can use the same functionalities as in a normal curve. For example, you can say you want to do a best fit out of this polyline. So you see here, <clears throat> this one, for example, has a little bit of C, so C error in it. Of course, you can say you want to degrees of freedom, C translation, and then evaluate, then you will see he is correcting the line or in this what else, X for example, X translation we can also do. Uh, and then he's correcting it a little bit. Of course, this case not much because it's just simulated data and has no big errors in it. Uh, but we have the same functionalities as in a normal curve. 